Oh, people, my name is Rage, and welcome one and all to the first episode of Rebirth Restrictions, where you guys put a crippling, nay, unfair, I don't mean like you summon horses that like constantly neigh at me in the background, though that would be a very particularly difficult challenge. I mean, have you ever thought about it? Imagine trying to get on with your day, doing whatever it is, watching a show, doing some work, jumping up and down, hovering, kung fu fighting, firing fire out your fish, you know, the normal things people like to do. Great starting pill there. Phenomenal. And in the background, there's just a horse that will not shut up. I think you'd probably get pretty damn annoyed. Either way, rebirth restrictions, where you guys are going to impose some serious rulage, and I'm going to still try and complete the run under it. Today, for the first one, what I thought I'd do is just keep it simple. I have to explore every single room and pick up every single item, so I have to take a devil deal if I see one, I have to swap spacebar items if I find a new one while already having them. The only time in which I cannot get an item is if I simply can't afford it in the shop, or getting the devil deal would kill me and end, end the run. They are the only two extraneous circumstances. Technically speaking, the votes between your two options, and so many of you voted, it was glorious. I'm really happy you guys are interested in this. The only thing is, the votes were very close, but I realized something. Oh, a black heart in here is pretty damn nice. I don't want to do the I have to correctly say what each item does in order to pick it up thing, because I don't want to mess that up by doing rules badly and then annoying you guys with such a cool idea being done poorly, because it's all about the execution. You've got to have good executions, okay? So what I'd like from you guys is a way of a rule set, because what happens if I think an item does one thing, pick it up, and I'm wrong? Technically, I've broken the rules. Do I finish the run or do I restart? So what I'm suggesting is for the run where I can only pick up items if I guess what they do, I'm allowed one fail, and on the second fail, I simply have to restart the run, and we'll just see if I can get to the end or how many runs I go through proving my massive ignorance despite my hours. I don't like admitting that, but I will admit it's true. Wait, well, that kind of goes counterintuitive to what I just said. Well, I mean, I have to pick it up, which is really disappointing because Sagittarius is such a bad item. <laughs> I don't know what that was, and I feel bad even doing it. So, yeah, let me know if you think that would be a good idea to do it, and once we do, that will probably be the next restriction run. So, for now, we'll keep things nice and simple with the pick up everything. That was not the best use of that black heart. I really didn't expect him to fully get to be there. That's kind of a shame. Talking of good executions, how would you execute someone? Say this person, he needed executing. He's a baddie. He's not a good one. Even his mother doesn't love him. You know, that kind of deal. He's done some horrible stuff. And you've given free reign on how to remove him. Let's say the whole human race's survival depends on you executing this person. So you have to do it. You can't back off, all right? And we're not going to get too grisly. We'll save that for later. I am going to look for a secret room. I've got to try and get in every single room as per the rules, but now I'm out of bombs, so I must move on. Oh, God. I wish I'd kept that bomb now. Really, really, really wish I'd uh, kept that bomb. That would have been very useful. Piercing tears proving very... Very useful against the Hauntlings there. That, I think, has pretty much secured me this fight, where otherwise there was a fair amount of danger happening. Danger, danger! High Hauntage. I don't really know where I'm going with that. So, if you're someone who's like, I know this person needs to be executed, or the whole human race is going to die, but I just can't kill someone. You could choose something like you just press a button 500 miles away and you're not even sure if it's done anything, but it technically has just made him drop dead. Or if you want to get personal and maybe go for a beheading, that's that's what you got to decide. Do you want to... Oh, you could, I guess. I mean, since there are no rules, you could be like, I want to summon flame energy out my flist. Flists? Yes, out your flists. I don't know what your flists are. I guess flists are what happens if you, for some reason, try and combine a list with your hands to try and have paper hands of extra punching might. But that doesn't sound like it would work 
too brilliantly, I'll admit. And there we go, a little bit more damage on him. We're getting through him, we're getting through him. Slowly but surely, the haunt is going to die. So you could come up with some really creative uh, ways to do it. As long as once you finish, you go, FATALITY! Then all is well with the world. And VOOM! And VOOM! There it is. Give me a good item. Blood clot, yes. Please, I would like me some blood clottage. I believe I have done everything I can on this floor. Granted, I could go get that bit of health, but... Tsh, I don't need that bit of health. Don't be crazy. I'm just not crazy. What am I saying? I just realized having to explore every cathedral and chest room suddenly makes this challenge a lot harder than I was expecting. Because... It gives a lot more opportunity of things to kill me, which is kind of gonna be a problem. I can only hope that I get incredibly overpowered and then hope that I don't see an item that would ruin it and be forced by the rules into taking it. In fact, a lot could go wrong, so I have to take Bomb's Rod Head. I mean, I would have done anyway in the situation, but there we have it. We have acquired it. How would you want to be executed? What if you were the guy that needed to die because for some reason you're threatening the whole human race? Like, seriously, Steve? I, what have I told you about threatening the whole human race? I, I said... I said it will end badly, and you didn't listen, and now look, everyone wants you executed. How would you choose to go? I think there's something kind of cool about being straight up just beheaded on like a chopping block. Like, straight up, DO IT! KILL ME! Or like, YEAH! But, you know, you still are ultimately getting your head chopped off, so it does lose certain appeal. I mean, you could obviously just say the button idea, then it's just painless and you just drop away and that's fine. I mean, if you don't want to go through any potential nastiness, that's a typically very, very useful pill to find there. Very happy we've... We've got that. Okay, those flies were particularly easy. Innocence to slaughter! Ooh, I do love my innocence to slaughter. And having ourselves a tinted rock is, of course, good. Because now we can get Devil Deal. So one of the cool things about this rule is that, technically speaking, I can deliberately take red heart damage to stop a Devil Deal. Thereby meaning I don't have to take Devil Deal items. So I could try and bend the rules that way. I really, really could. Okay, so let's go find our item room. Now... I do have to go in every room, but I can choose the order. So I can deliberately use this key on the item room and then be like, I can't go in the shop because I don't have a key. So it's not all one-sided, guys. I can twist and turn your rules. You're going to have to get up mighty early in the morning to out-technicality me. That's kind of annoying. Oh, explosive diarrhea. That's not what I wanted to see either. Didn't get anything from it, though. So that kind of sucks. We have our... Oh, come on. A normal fly injured me. A normal fly item! We have to take undefined! Yay! Oh, this is good! This is great! This is so beautiful! Oh man, I mean, I probably would have done anyway, but this is the kind of item that makes this ruling pretty damn interesting. So we're gonna be undefining. Do I wanna do the boss first? That's the question. I mean, no, because I've got to explore every floor, every room that I can. But I guess I am relieved if... Yeah, I, I couldn't actually move from there. If I'd have gone up, I definitely would have got hit. So, that's... You know, I just... Oh, those flies outsmarted me, guys. And, and they did red heart damage to me. So, oh no, I took red heart damage. I guess I guess we've got a low chance of a devil deal now, guys. That's that's a shame. Oh no, look, we took... We took... We took more... We took more red heart damage. Oh, that was that was a misplay by me there. That was really, really bad. <laughs> I don't want to kill myself for a devil deal and come back as revive Lazarus, okay? Not yet, monstro. Although I have to take whatever the boss drop is. But then I'm going to undefined. We're getting a secret room. I'm kind of hoping for I remember because it's just bonus stuff. So potentially that'll work out. Okay, this is like super mega hard mode restriction. Die, monstro, please. There we go. What are we going to get? I swear to God, if we'd actually got a devil room there, that would have been really, really upsetting. The monkey paw may as well. We got a trinket, answers for a bit of vision, and a pretty fly. All right, underfanned to the item room. Such a shame. And now that I technically have a key, I have to go to the shop, which kind of sucks, but 
You live by the rules and you die by the rules and sometimes you convulse by the rules. Ooh. Ooh, I say, I'm gonna have my undefined give me another chance, and I'm also gonna blow up some of my donation bankage in order to buy a key because I refuse to not have item room access. And we do, in fact, get the I Am Error. One hell of an I Am Error room here. Two of clubs. Okay, may as well use that. I can see forever. Kinda sucks. Let's not die in the I Am Error room. That would be a little bit embarrassing. Double our keys, grab a load of hearts. I mean, this is pretty good. Explosive diarrhea, that may be okay. And then nothing too fantastic in this. But still, it's always nice to get a I am error. So let's move on to the next floor. And hope that we don't instantly I am error. I don't really know how this interacts with my rules. I feel like this is typical. I just wanted to have a nice, simple start to rebirth restrictions. What was that, Rage? You wanted a nice, simple start to rebirth restrictions. Well, how about, right, all right, bear with me. How, how about, right, you have to, you have to do the entire run with Undefined. Oh, that's really nice of you. Thanks, thanks, game. Really appreciate it. I'm gonna go hide in my box now. I think that is the way to go. So while I have to go into every room, I'm not forced to do stuff like a, uh, open chess in a mob trap, so at least I can get out of uh, doing terrible mob traps, like, for example, that one specifically. Okay, looking pretty good. So far, you know, a fairly fine run, though we are 100% gonna struggle if I have to clear the cathedral. Ooh, I mean, technically, I don't have to clear the cathedral. I just have to go into every room in case there's an item there. So I can bomb my way through stuff. So I've got to take solace in that fact. But it does mean getting to the cathedral with enough bombs for that to make a difference, which isn't always easy. So we got to go in here. And... Ah, step on three, see what happens. That kind of works. We got a key and a bomb out of it. Could have been a lot worse. And some worms. Not sniper worms. Not as good as sniper worms. They gave up their sniping days and just went, ah, let's just throw stuff in all directions and it will definitely work. Well, guess what? Tactical damage. They just got wrecked. Let's grab this to attempt to ensure a devil deal. And bomb spiders. Can I kill it near the tinted rock? Oh, come on. That was like goddamn spot on. And we get a secret room and a spirit heart. So that worked out lovely. Oh, well, we don't have a choice. I have to take Lil Brim. So come on with us, friend. Uh, hopefully this doesn't screw me over because... Uh, I end up, I normally end up with a type of attack that little brimstone just can't function with, like Ludo technique or something. So, I am very much hoping we stay with our keys today. With our keys? Yes, I stay with our keys. I hope we fire keys. That would be pretty damn cool, actually. I mean, you can get Dr. Fetus and fire bombs. Imagine a tier modifier that let you fire keys or, or coins. That would be really cool, like a passive money equals power, you fire coins and the more money you have, maybe the more damage they do, or maybe different thresholds of money give it different effects. So like 0 to 10, it's just pure damaging coins, 10 to 20, they've got the fire mind effect. That could be pretty damn fun. Alright, so, I have to take the D4 here, I do. Undefined in D4 on the same goddamn run. It's not even the first time that's happened. But I am technically at liberty to use my spacebar item beforehand. And if we get the I am error, then we get the I am error, you know? But I'm not going to try and skirt the rules that much. I'm going to take the D4. We're going to use it after the boss, I think, because I'm confident we can take the boss. And we're going to hope beyond hope that we end up with a fairly powerful uh, run. I mean, one of the rebirth restrictions could actually be you have to use whatever spacebar item you have the second you get charged, which would suck for the D6 just a little bit. Okay, that should be fine. I mean, I'm not too bothered anymore about the health damage that I'm taking, because when we reroll everything, we're going to be very much changed on that front, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. We've got him to 
to a status. And oh, oh, jumping away, trying to save his life. What a noob, what a noob. So we have to take the caffeine pill, and yes, that was the devil deal. So I guess here we go. Boom, we gained health. And not much else. That was kind of a really, really, really terrible reroll. I'm pretty sure I visited every room on that floor, right? I'm not I'm not going crazy here. Oh my god, imagine if I get amnesia with this rule set. How would I visit every room with amnesia and have no way of knowing? I hope I don't get amnesia at any point. Or I am going to be very upset with everything. Please, wizard, can you stop being wizard? Actually, wizard's kind of useful for this, so stay wizard for the duration- oh, okay. As soon as I'm like, oh, actually, no, the wizard's pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that we're a wizard right here. It's like, oh, oh, wait, no, you're happy you've got this annoying thing. Sorry, it's run out now. Um, it, it ran out. That's, uh, how did that happen? Do we have the soul? We could have the soul. Maybe the soul. 82ZPJK7D is the seed. I've totally- Totally, um, it's in the description, so technically I didn't forget. Shut up, what are you talking about? My memory is so bad! Ah, <sighs> good. There we go. We got ourselves the seed. So, obviously, play along with the challenge. I hope you have been doing so far. No, no, I don't want to do that just for one gold chest. I sure wish I still had my piercing tears that I re-rolled away. That would have been very useful in that room. Hauntling kicking ass over there, and we get ourselves a tinted rock. I mean, I'm going to be deforing as soon as I can, because this is very, very weak here. Very weak. Though if we find another spacebar item, I have to take it, so I better hope that I get a good D4 set loadout before I end up having to swap over. That could be a big problem. Like, if I had to stay how I was now, I mean, I am just a lot weaker than I was before. At least we had Mini Brim, who was contributing a lot, and Piercing Tears. That's obviously very useful. Ooh, we've kind of got near to the item room, and we've seen a lot of the other rooms as well. So this is a nice little Liberty Cap thing to happen. And we get to reroll again after this room. So I believe, I believe, look how long it's taking us to kill little sausage worms. They are definitely sausage worms. They look like they'd be pretty good roasted. Boom! And, hey, we've got a lot of tears. We've got Midas's Touch. Not much else that good, honestly. So we're getting pretty unlucky with our... D4s here, though our tier stat is surprisingly great here. Fire mind, I don't mind the fires. This is going to increase our damage quite a lot because the explosion and the actual fire that it leaves on the ground is really good. Also, I don't know why it said explosion, like explosion, like explosion just, it, it makes me struggle, honestly. Talking of execution and death, as we indeed were. What is your worst, most scary way to die? Is that not a grisly question? Maybe one that we shouldn't contemplate in a rebirth run, but I like to. Mainly because I've just already decided mine. I mean, I feel like I shouldn't be telling the internet and thousands of people the best way to kill me in the most traumatic way possible. But I mean, what could go wrong? No, but for me, it has to be trapped underground, unable to move that much slowly, starving and dying of thirst. I think that's the one that really gets me. And then there's the classics. I say the classics. Ah, yes, the classics. Well, I have to take all the items that I can, and as I can technically bomb the machine to get the challenge belt, I have to do so. Now, I could buy the battery, but it's not really worth it. I'm going to get the charge, so that's all good. And I want to save vision for a flaw that really matters. Okay, there we go. So the only reason I do have to explore every room is in the off chance it leads to a room that does have an item in. So it's not possible for a normal room full of enemies to have an item in, right? So technically I am okay to leave a floor if I've exhausted all potentials. But as I don't actually know what technically all potentials are, uh, thank everything for that. That would have been absolutely horrific. I would have had to wander around blindly just hoping I was going to take everything. Okay, and it's goody. 
but I don't want to fight him like this. D4, what you got for me? We gained an extra life. We've got Monstro's Lung. We have Bloody Lust. Okay, potentially this is pretty good. We have a attack fly, which is doing a nice amount of damage, especially to Gurdy here, simply because it's always on top of him. We've got Kings of the Rye, which kind of sucks. Toothpicks are very, very welcome, but still not a lot of damage. All right, Devil Deal, what do you have? Good! Things that I'm not forced into taking. Pills, full health, and are you a wizard? Yeah, I'm a monstro wizard. Let's definitely take that. And we'll get rid of this fire. It would be cool if the IU wizard made Monstro's lungs shoot out in just every direction ever, just splurting into everybody's faces. Don't splurt into faces, though. It's it's not something you should do in society. And that gets rid of him. So our tears have gone down a fair amount from last time because we're charging pretty damn slowly. But our overall damage output has definitely gone up because of Monstro's lungs. So we're kind of okay, but I mean, I'm still definitely content to re-roll once more. Mainly because it's just it's just not what you're wanting from a D4 re-roll. It really, really isn't. Whoa, calm down. Cal calm down, baby. All right, calm down, you floating bloody red baby. It's not how you want babies to be, but sometimes you just got to accept that's how they are. Charge at me. Yeah, eat that bomb. Eat that bomb. Eat that bomb real good. Like you know you should. Ooh, I'm stompy. That's interesting. Potentially very useful. Uh, nah, two normal chests. You think I care about that? Well, I don't. I mean, I would if I really needed consumables. But as that is not the case, I'm content to let things move on. Oh, the fly skills were real and they didn't even pay off for me. That is upsetting. That is very upsetting. Come on, use the fly skills. Oh, come on, look at these fly skills. And that's not, that sounds like I'm just saying, yeah, I got fly skills. Not actually a fly, but, you know, the thing that cool kids say. I'm pretty sure that's what all the cool kids say. Hey, any cool kids watching this, what do you say? Because you say fly, right? I'm, I'm, I mean, I, I, I'm down with the cool kids. It is, it is known. Hey, weird grey worm sausage things. Now, the segments of their body do actually separate, which makes me wonder how they work as a creature, because I don't think anything would look pretty good after parts of its body have literally split from each other while just generally travelling. I, I don't know how any biological system could make that work. Maybe they're magnetised back towards each other, but how are they connected to the main hole? How are they actually part of his body? Maybe they're not. Maybe they are all just little piloted grey lumps filled with those maggots that we're seeing. That is certainly possible. Damn. Oh, 2020 Eve's Mascara with the leech and Daddy's Love. I mean, I have to take the spacebar item as soon as I find it. I have to swap. We have the devil, which I kind of like, so we're going to vision this. All right, now that I've visioned it, I've used my one free pass. So I have to go to the secret room, I have to go to the shop, and I have to go to the curse room. But it's not possible for an item to be in the other two paths, so I've at least got that going for me. My range is abysmal, but my damage is the best that it's ever been, so at least we got that. Though swapping the D4 for freaking tarot card generator. I am a little bit upset here, I really am. Okay. No point swapping a key for that, though technically they can- Ooh, I've got free- I've got rainbow tears as well. Interesting. So that's good. I think that is definitely an improvement from what it initially looked like. So maybe this is a lot better than I'm first imagining it to be. Because obviously 2020 comes with a lot of potential. It's arguably one of the best items in the game. In fact, it's probably the best non-special upgrade. Okay, anything going on in there? Nothing ridiculous. Let's open this tears down. That is not good. Well, I have to take every item I find. So long, tarot card generator. So long. So, annoyingly, we've had to give up a good chance at a devil deal, but say la vie. Say la vie. We do look so happy, though. Like, oh, well, I guess I'll get the replacement key. Uh, it was deliberate, guys, just in case. That's, that's all it was. I am going to save keys and go through here. I have bombs, and I have to get the items. I have to get the items. 
Though, if I don't have the money was the exception. And uh, I think I think you guys will understand if I don't bomb the hell out of my donation machine to get the red candle. But I, of course, will take this one because that's at least something. So I also have what looks to be... Yeah, I've got butt bombs and tear bombs, which is excellent. Like, really, really excellent. So this re-roll is vastly growing on me, like some weird growth. It's kind of disgusting. Actually, I should probably get that looked at. But in all seriousness, there is a lot of good here. We've got a lot of bombs, and those bombs are doing a lot of damage. But what we don't have is a lot of health. And that's something we are going to have to figure out. Anything going on in here? No, we may as well use this, see if we get a better trinket or tarot card than what we currently have. And nothing too great. The world! That's good. That is good. And I still have my Lazarus re -rive. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna use our Devil, and we're gonna see what we can do to him. I mean, we've got our Spoonbender Tears, and it's the Champion Monstro too, who's a lot easier to kill. So this just actually makes me very excited. Okay, that did a ton of damage. That is a good amount of potential. Gotta take the latch key. Thought we would have done anyway. Oh, we've suddenly gone from very derpy happy looking to very angry. Book of Belial, I think we can thank you. So as it's impossible to find another item on this floor, we are good to move on. Tinted rock! There was a tinted rock in the bottom left corner! No! At least I noticed, okay? At least I noticed. You have to give me credit for that. I at least noticed. Uh, should have gone and got the world card as well. I don't know why I felt the need to just leave that behind. I guess it was in a curse room, right? Pretty sure. No, it was in the freaking secret room. Should have got that. In my defense, I do actually have one. It is so boiling today. And my mind feels like a melted, sort of just numb pool of just bleh, you know? And I am not thinking at the same speed I normally do. Now, I know what you're thinking, but you don't normally think at a very good speed anyway. So, really, what are you... What are you talking about? And while that is true, and thank you very much for, for reminding me, that's, I really do appreciate that, and by appreciate that I mean I hate you, and by I hate you I mean I don't hate you, I don't, I don't, and by that I mean I'm going to stop doing this now. Oh, pin room went very, very well. How did that pin instantly die? That is weird and that one as well i mean yeah the black heart helped but i feel like i'm doing way more damage than it looks like i should be which is obviously good but where's it coming from that's what i want to know and there we go one more dead and an extra bomb so daddy's love i think is really what caps off this build at the moment because without that i think we actually would have genuinely had some problems and it also lets me clear out a random enemy fairly far away from where i spawn in which is obviously a very useful thing to happen we're going to use ourselves the tear bombs on this see if we can't clear out most of the room. Took a little bit of unnecessary damage there, but mostly that is fine. We've got the effect that makes our tears just blink out of existence, which really makes fighting anything, in fact, very difficult. So that kind of sucks. Item room and everything over there. Hopefully this item room gives us something. We just need, in fact, tears and range is actually what we need. We don't really need damage. We just need a lot of tears up and we need a lot of range up. We've got number one in this room, which is fairly good. That solves our speed problem, but we need our range problem. And obviously, we can't rely on number one happening the entire time. Chariot's very useful, though not as much without a orbital. Yeah, it's actually doing more damage to him than if he swallowed the bomb. Though, imagine him swallowing that bomb. Oh, we've got boomerang. That's um, not the best. Please, Chubb, just die. Accept that you're gone. The leech is trying, and there he goes. Okay, so let's go up, and let's go down. I want my item room before anything, and I've forgotten where it is. Aha, I can skip into it via the secret room. Though that's probably a... Ooh, skeleton key. Our forehead is now a weird black-looking mess. That's not the best. Leo, yay! Well, I mean, we've reacquired Stompy, and Lazarus does- Look how happy! We've got such a happy little lion man! He's trying his best, he just wants to be happy with the world, and, and have places to go, and people to see, and he's just such a happy little lion boy! 
Oh, the tales of the Lion Boy were legendary. He would travel the world, saving people left and right wherever he saw they were in danger. And he was revered as one of the happiest yet most useful individuals that ever did live. The tales of Lion Boy. Oh, the tales of Lion Boy. Goodbye, beggar. Goodbye. Apparently killing a beggar gives you a higher chance of a devil deal, which is interesting. Also, apparently re-rolling a devil deal re-rolls it into spirit hearts if you're in the rare situation of having red hearts, but not any that are filled like I had a few runs ago. So that's definitely worth knowing. Is there anything past the bottom left? Because if not, I am free to do our boss. Okay, so down we go. I mean, technically I could deliberately injure myself to one heart in order to get into that final room. Is that part of the rules? Because I imagine I'll be doing this, this challenge more than once, because it's, it's a nice one to do, and every single run makes it interesting, because obviously the different items in every single run. I could have the extreme hardcore version of it, where I do have to bomb for every shop item. I do have to injure myself down in order to get into all the bonus rooms. Though I am actually pretty close to being injured enough anyway, so maybe I am just going to do it. I mean, I still have revived Lazarus, and there is life over there. But not a lot of life. Not as much life as I certainly would like there to be. And the Hanged Man. The Hanged Man will be useful in here. We'll go around and get all of our extra skulls just in case there's anything good. A black heart's fairly nice. Dry baby. Good to see you. We've got the Fool. That's alright. And eh, that's just kind of okay. So which is the best tarot card? We have the Fool, we have the Chariot, we have the Devil, and the Empress. I think the Chariot's probably best, although the Devil is not far behind. And yep, since I am low enough anyway, I'm just going to deliberately do it. I'm going to go down to one, and I'm going to engage full on respecting the rules mode, and go into that trap room. Though I am going to also engage full on circumvent the rules mode by taking the fool into that trap room, and thereby teleporting out as soon as I've acquired its riches, like the ingenious master planner that I am. Please have something brilliant in here, or at least not terrible. Yeah, we got a golden chest, and fate. That is excellent. So at least now we've got permanent flying, which is obviously very useful. We'll go grab the black heart. We should also go grab the red heart. There's no point being completely sure of ourselves to the point that we're going to risk not having the most health going. And we do have Revive Lazarus to come back as. Which, al which also gives us a damage boost and effectively an extra chance. So I'm feeling pretty much okay feeling okay. And what we'll do throughout the uh, rebirth restrictions is every time I win the run, then I get a point, and every time I die trying to pull off a run with the restrictions, then you guys get a point. We'll turn it into a little bit of a competition. I think that works out kind of nicely. Still rather have the liberty cap because map information is power. All right then, mother. Let's do this thing. Oh yeah, I'm stompy. I don't know why I felt the need to do that. Nothing too ridiculous in there. I mean, because it's this champion version, I'm actually not going to use the devil. Because, yeah, it'll take me a while longer to kill her. But if she's only going to try and stamp on me, I basically can't lose the fight. So I'm content to just sit here slowly killing her. Annoyingly, I didn't expect the triple shot. I thought you only get triple shot if you actually get too close to one of the doors. But I was wrong. And the stompy is happening. Though she just get pheromone. I really want pheromone to work on the leg. And the leg just ends up stomping one of the eyes. And it just smushes. And it's like, <laughs> and the goo goes everywhere. I think there's just a chance for each one to happen. I guess that's how it's worked out. And we have another one. Where's the stomping going to happen? There it is. I remember getting a Curse of Darkness mum fight when I was still a noob and dying because I just could not see where the feet were coming down. It was, it was a really upsetting experience, actually. I felt powerless in the dark, slowly being killed. There was nothing, nothing I could do about it. It was, it was so scary. It was so, so scary. 
Okay, come on, accept your defeat. You know you can't win like this. Daddy's love is really doing a lot of damage. It is fantastic. And one more. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. And we don't get a devil deal. I think we're certainly going to the chest here. That makes a lot of sense. As we have Dry Baby to hide behind, making the heart and Isaac a lot easier. So let's move on then to uh, the womb. Hopefully it is the womb and not the utero, because I don't think we could quite handle ridiculous, ridiculous difficulty. I'm hoping then that the Liberty Cap happens and I can see all the special rooms on the map so I can know where I have to go in order to fulfill the rules of the challenges. Because uh, from this point onwards, where we're taking one full heart of damage a time, I really don't want to have to explore everything, and I'm gonna have to if I don't get Liberty Cap giving me a little bit of insider knowledge here, so I've got to be aware of that. Still nothing much that's useful. A load of red hearts here, but not something that we actually kind of need. That room could have been a lot more brutal than it actually was. Really, really could have been. That kind of sucks. I mean, you know something's going on when the black hearts aren't even clearing the room for you. I mean, I don't think I'm going to die, but I would genuinely like another devil deal, at least to give us some sort of power. I mean, brimstone would be good, although 2020 is the one thing that doesn't double a brimstone. For, for some reason, I hope Afterbirth does fix that, because it seems weird that you can get triple brimstone and quad brimstone, but no, double brimstone, don't be ridiculous. Maybe because it doesn't drop your tears that much, it's allowed, but that still seems very, very thinly veiled reasons, because quad brimstone absolutely wrecks. Oh yeah, let's use the double health down pill, guys. That will work so, so well. I think it really, really will be fantastic if we do that. You are dead. Oh, come on. Really? That didn't kill him. Okay, that definitely killed him. Daddy's love doing so, so much work. You are going to explode into a shower of tears. Must stay away. My range is just nothing. It actually is nothing. It is such a problem. My word, it is such a goddamn problem. And unfortunately, we took damage there because I was too busy looking at the map instead of the fight. Which is a massive shame, actually. Especially on a room that I definitely didn't need to take damage to. And Blasty Blast, which is a very, very easy... I'm, I'm, I'm stompy. I'm stompy, aren't I? I'm, uh, I'm stompy. That makes sense, actually, now that I... Now that I think about it, I'm, I'm stompy, and I walked straight into the, the explosion rock, thinking it would, it would be totally, totally fine, because I am so, so good at this game, it's, it's actually unreal how good I am at this game. I, uh, I tried my best, and my best was very clearly... Not good enough. So I'm going to keep exploring the floor in case there is a curse room with items in or a mob trap with items in because I have to take them. I wish, Liberty Cap, you could give me a preview, but I guess I'm just not allowed, so whatever, I'm not going to judge. Oh god, that is a room that I would have preferred to have not had to go in. Fortunately, we got away with it quite easily, but that could have been diabolically bad. We actually do technically gain range when we have Spoonbender, because they travel a bit more because they're attracted to the enemy, so that's something. But I don't see this run being that successful, because I just... I mean, it's nice, the items that I have. If I had some range, maybe, hell, even a bit more tears, I could handle this, but as it is, I just don't even know. I just don't even know. There's a lot of red heart drops, so I want to try and wait for a few more before I deliberately take damage in order to get in that mob trap. But I can regenerate most of it as it currently stands, so I got that going for me. And this is going to come down. Is it even going to die? It's not even going to die. That is it's a shame. Wait, was there two or was that the same one that instantly came back down? I don't want to stop moving just in case. Five money? That is completely useless! Hey, double death saves. That's at least something cool. Though a very wasted room for it to be used on. Next up, what do we got? More eyes. 
More ice! Damn your ice! Damn you all the way to hell! Also with the I have to say what an item does before picking it up rule, I don't have to read its description right, because I, I would not be picking up a single item. I think I just have to correctly say what it is technically going to do. So I could fairly easily injure myself down here. We'll go through the middle. Please don't be terrible damage. I can see forever. Not really. Oh, there it is. Yep, there it is. Explosive diarrhea. And okay. All right. That could have gone a lot, a lot worse. Definitely a lot, a lot worse. This could also be a lot worse. That is love should kill them fairly easily. In fact, I can handle that myself. That's how easy they are. The small rock, the lucky rock, not going to do anything for us at the moment. More explosive diarrhea. That is a lot of explosive diarrhea that we've had to contend with. Like, more than any one person should ever, ever have to contend with. It's just quite ridiculous. And there we go. Okay, good. So it turns out there wasn't actually that much reason to explore the rest of the floor at all. Still, though, you have no way of knowing. And... Damn it, why did I pick up that heart? Why did I pick up that heart? That was very stupid. That was very, very stupid. I could have gone and got that afterwards. Are you going to drop anything? No, you're not. Why does that not surprise me? Okay, then. Let's go, 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 go. I don't know where I was going with that. Let's go yo-yo, guys. Yo-yos. Yay. God, you love yo-yos so much. Oh, wait. No, this is a normal trap room, right? So this room needs me on full health? No, is that the boss? I actually can't remember. I'm just going to see what happens if I bomb myself again. Damn the consequences! Yeah, that is one of the full health ones. But I got here with full health, didn't I? I swear I got here with full health. Am I going crazy? I feel like I'm going crazy. Let's go back with full health and see if it now opens. Okay, I must have got it the wrong way around. Triple red chest. We'll go for that. Um, that's, uh... That's amazing. That is so... So amazing. Having the free shot is actually really amazing. Though having to go through an extra free boss is not as much. Not as much, actually. Oh god, they're, they're the bomb flies. I didn't even see them. That is a testament to how dark the curse of darkness is. Loki, please just die. My range is so abysmal. It's like a few feet in front of my face. It is so, so bad. Good time daddy's love there, though. It did kill the... Bomb fly as it got spawned. Leech, whenever you're ready, man, feel completely free, okay? At any point, feel completely free to attack. That is, I mean, I will not stop you. I will definitely not stop you. Just feel, com just go for it, and we'll all be friends, we'll all be good, we'll all have some fun, and maybe we can tell each other stories about it later on. That's all I'm saying. Oh, I'm not looking forward to our chances at completing this run, though, guys. I really am not. I mean, I'm obviously trying my best. I'm forced into trying my best by the very rules of this run, but it's, it seems like it's going to be a problem. It very much does. Watch that be a tinted rock that I was ignoring out of all of them. That would be typical. Okay, moving on. I mean, we have the flies, which are doing an okay amount of damage, because we do have an okay amount of damage. Not being able to see our health is a little bit of a shame, but we have four red hearts, so we can manage that fairly well without looking, I would at least hope. We'll get into this secret room. Oh, we do see all the special rooms. So it's just a trap room up here and two secret ones. So that's actually something I can work with. Useful information. I like me some useful information. It's much better than not useful information, and do I even need to explain to you the reason? Because I don't think that I do. This is one that does need me to be on low health, so that's very, very much lame. That, however, is very, very good. So I guess what I'm going to do is just try and take three hits, go in there, have a look what's up, and then hope beyond hope that I can pull this off in some way. I mean, I just don't know at this point. I just don't know. So what's the best way to take some damage? Because I have enough hearts on the floor to go to the required health and then instantly heal it all back. Ah, this works. I'll just save one of these guys. There's one touch. That's good. That's good. 
There's two touches. That's fine. And... Uh, I really... Really don't trust what my health is on. Technically, this shouldn't kill me. Okay. Alright, that's... That's good. That was a very nervous experience there. Please don't be an item. Thank everything for that. I don't have to complete that room. Let's get my health back and move on with our lives. Give me something good. Give me something good. More health? More health? Potentially useful, depending on what happens, of course. So yeah, all we need to do is go to the secret room. The arcade does not have an item in. Technically, if we played the arcade enough, it could, but I think that's one we can strike off from the rule list. So we just... I really thought I could grab that before it would be a problem, and I don't know what made me think that, considering we are flying at a snail's pace here. I... sometimes I just don't know what goes through my own head, you know? Sometimes I just don't know. I don't know why I'm getting so upset about it, but sometimes, again, it's just good to be upset. It's good to be upset. I really still wish I had the D4. If I still had the D4, I could have re-rolled into a much, much, much stronger setup than I have right now. So this is your guys' fault. This is your guys' fault that this is happening. I want you to be aware of that. Your goddamn restriction is why this is happening. And we get at least a little bit of health from here, so that's something. And boom. No health from there. That really, really sucks. What do you have for us? Nothing good. Nothing good. Give me some health, please. Well, that's it. You're dead now. Hope you enjoy your death. Hey, he did actually give me some health, which I am going to choose to believe was his very heart that we are now using to increase our own power. Oh, God. Oh, my word. Why is the secret room so far away? That really worries me. Seriously, if it wasn't for the fact that we have Daddy's love, this would probably be over already because we just simply can't kill anything but i do enjoy smashing rocks so we got that going for us they got cleared out very nicely and there's only three groups of them and they're not that powerful especially when daddy's leg comes smacking down on them and that's gonna make a big difference there we go lovely and we instantly get the health back so all around that worked out down we go to the secret room, pick up even more health, nothing in the way of a tinted rock here. Okay, just two more rooms to go until I can attempt the boss. And it really will be an attempt on the boss, because I could totally see Mum's heart bringing us down here. I really, really could. Let's go over here and... Please be something. That's technically something, right? I mean, that counts, sort of, as a thing. I mean, I know this room isn't terribly difficult, but at the same time, I don't have to kill it, so I'm not going to kill it. On we go. Boss, please appear whenever you can. I'm really happy the Liberty Cap did give me a preview of this floor. That at least means I don't have to completely cripple myself on the way. I just love, whenever you're ready, do some stomping. There we go. That was a good amount of stomping, and that was a good amount of chained bomb flyage. That was lovely. I don't even know how I even pulled that off. It seems almost preposterous. The word preposterous itself seems almost preposterous that it's even a word, but I can assure you, it's a word. Go, go. There it is. Lovely. Boom. Can we pick this up? We can't pick that up. So we have four hearts with which to take the heart. Ooh, that's good. So we got double health regen. So that's at least something. Okay, it lives. Oh, we got scythes. That is so, so useful. That is so very, very useful. Hide behind. Dry baby. We're not quite close enough for our damage to actually be affecting it. So maybe here we could get away with it. That seems like it would hit the spot. They're going to slowly get killed by the heart. No, yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get a little bit closer, dry baby. There we go, dry baby. I am so so fortuitous to have found dry baby. I'm just gonna stand here. If I get hit by a spider, I get hit by a spider. It's it's not worth losing the position that lets me actually damage the boss. Hopefully we don't get lasered too hard. Though it does look like we are going to run! Please don't kill me! Okay, so we at least, at the very least, 
have a chance of getting to Isaac. Though whether we can kill Isaac is another question, because it's going to very much depend on... Well, actually, no, I can't dry baby up close to him, because if I dry baby up close, we're going to end up getting hit by the return fire from his circular tears. So what I have to do is hide behind dry baby in a corner and let daddy's love solo Isaac if I actually want a chance at beating Isaac. So that seems a little bit dangerous. Let's put on I can see forever. Amnesia! No! No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, Amnesia, that's a good one. That's really, that's a funny joke you just made there. Who's our last boss? Bit of monstro action. Can handle a bit of monstro action. Definitely handle a bit of monstro action. I'm surprised they survived that. That seems unlikely. And that should kill one of them. And... Whoa. Oh, I really thought the foot had brought him back down. That would have been so cool to see. Okay, so we've done this one. That is good. The demon tail. Nah, I'd rather keep the liberty cap. And the full health seems very, very useful. So I'm going to keep that. We will probably need it if we are to get through uh, this in one piece. Though, I did not expect the head to die so quickly. So I'm actually going to take this as an opportunity to clear the room. Between the leech and the health regen that I have, I should be able to naturally regen a fair amount. But I'm definitely not going to be relying on it. So we'll head over to our other secret room. We are taking a fair amount of damage. The necro effect from Dry Baby is obviously immeasurably helpful. We're going to use one bomb on double mega fatty. I think that definitely makes sense at this point. I can't really bomb through here. We don't have the bombs to do it, which is very unfortunate. Though these guys tend to die pretty damn well to Daddy's Love. Though the annoying thing about Daddy's Love, and like literally the only annoying thing... Ah, oh, bollocks. There's a curse room and a sin room. I have to go to both. I have to go. You can get an item from them. Get Yum Yum Heart off Lust. I could get Bob's Ron Head again, which would really bring us full circle. So that would kind of be nice. Okay, so I gotta go down to the right. I'm glad I saved those bombs so I don't have to deal with this room at any point. But it's still gonna be a little bit dangerous, especially if one of them just jumps on top of the door. Okay, cool. Hey, Def, how are you doing? Not showing up where Conquest should be. That's what you're doing. Not that I'm bitter or anything like that. If I take one more damage, I will obviously pop the uh, full health pill because it's too much of a risk not to. Ooh, there we go. There it is. I'm not surprised at all that that happened. It's just this guy does a fair amount of damage. A fair amount of damage, and that's my bombs used up, because I'm going to have to bomb my way back through the mega fatty room if I want any chance at this. Though we did kill death fairly okayishly there, okayishly being the operative word, and nothing happening in there. Please, sin room, don't treat me too bad. Don't treat me too bad, that's all I want, just don't treat me bad, treat me like... Treat me like you treat a lover. Caress me gently, super sin, or normal sin, whatever sin you happen to be. That's all I want. That's all I need. Ooh, spirit heart. Potentially very good. No, these are not the sins that I wanted. I want the actual sin room. Do you not listen to anything I'm saying, Greed? You think you want some attention? Oh, no, guys, we gotta take Steam Sale. That's, like, ruined everything. Okay, who are you? Oh, that's Widow. That's, that's not anyone. That's... Just not what I'm even slightly wanting. You please die. Tinted Rock is good. More hearts is good. We might actually kill Isaac. I mean, if I can get to the chest items, I will be flabbergasted. I really, really will. But we seem like we're going to have a good enough amount of health to do so. Definitely need to make sure I pick up that key. Because otherwise, we just, we just don't have enough keys, guys. We really just don't have enough keys. That should actually nearly kill one of them. So that's good. Ooh, calm down. Calm down. All is well. I am very happy I found that pill. God, I'm having to go such a distance to fight this sin. Damn you and your rules. I could be on the chest by now. I could be on the chest. It's just, it's a sad, sad day. It really, really is. Though I did find an extra bomb, so I at least can now use a bomb on something if the need should arrive. He got me a little bit, unfortunately, but we are regening health, so that's all good. 
Broken Ankh might be worth taking, but I don't think it really is. Okay, gluttony. I swear to God, if you don't drop an item after all the trouble that I took to get here, that's what, I, that's what I'm saying to you. Yay, I'm so glad we did that, guys. Aren't you all so glad we did that? Let's grab all our spirit hearts and just leave. Let's just... Let's just leave. That's all we gotta do. We gotta leave right now. Before we fall any deeper. I think I better show you how. I'm feeling weaker and weaker. This is fine. I'm going back to the, the trap room. Ooh, this is good. I'm glad I went through here. And now I am completely don't care about going through there. That did nothing for me. I thought I may as well go pick up the devil. It'll give us some sort of boost against Isaac. Not a massive one. Definitely not a massive one. But definitely a boost. And that's all that's important. And bomb, don't care about you, Mega Fatties. Do not care about you at all. And there we go. So I think, generally, we got off pretty lightly to say this is a cathedral where I pretty much have to do everything. So I am happy about that. I really am. That was awkward. That was very awkward. Did not want to be taking two of our precious spirit hearts in damage here. I really didn't think I'd get hit enough for it to be a problem picking them up now, but I suppose... Oh no, I gotta beat a daddy's long legs to get to the freaking room that I didn't even want to go to in the first place. And it just feels like it's a really... Feels wrong, you know. It feels really, really wrong. I, please just come back and die. Oh god, that is... That is intense. I always dislike facing them. I really give up. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> oh, man. That is definitely about right. Just give up. <sighs> that is... That is just ridiculous. Lies! Lies! Stay asleep! So, did we really... Oh, we got one thing. We did get one thing. Wheel of Fortune, yay! We can put free home money into the Wheel of Fortune and get a grand total of... Nothing! Okay, Isaac. I am on my way to you. I am on my way. Please, let this somehow... somehow work. Let Dry Baby be the bastion that I need him to be. In my time of need, let Isaac be slain. A few of these will hit me, though. I seem to have found a fairly good position, and the necro -pro proc stop the babies, which actually... Dry baby, guys! Can everybody just give some massive props to dry freaking baby right here? He just absolutely tore that up! What a guy! What a guy! Dry baby! Dry god damn baby. I mean, what can we say, Dry Baby? You just absolutely... I mean, you made it happen. You made it happen, and I'm proud of you. Though, the problem is now, I can't stay in range of Isaac long enough to kill him, so I am probably still going to die here, simply because he's gonna chase me down and kill me. I'd have to wait for... Daddy long legs to just slowly kill him while I run away from him, which technically is a pretty viable strategy So I'm not gonna get too upset by it, but it does seem a little bit of a Cheap way of bringing Isaac down here and this bit is very stressful Because I have to dodge every oh god. I'm gonna get hit. I'm gonna get hit. I'm gonna get hit. Yep There it is. There it is. I do have Polaroid. I have Polaroid. I have Polaroid. I have Polaroid. Die! Die! Oh my god, die! Please die! Okay! Alright then, everybody! Let's go to the chest! Oh. Did I just get a full heal from going to the chest? Is that a thing that happens? I, I would have noticed that before, right? Super Meat Fan? Brilliant. Is that admiration? Brilliant. Sam's Ball and Chains? Brilliant. And I have to take the notched axe. Not so brilliant! Okay, there we go. We're doing it. We're doing it, guys. We have the potential. We have the power. We have the willpower. We have the mindset. That was one of the most intense Isaac fights I've ever been a part of. And I think that's the only Isaac fight that I can remember where the phase free part of the fight was a genuinely harder fight for me than the phase one and two. So that's something. You know, there is at least a first time for everything. 
Super Meat Fan definitely helps, but not really that much. It does sort out... I mean, all stats up is kind of what I do need. Range, tiers, and shot speed. So I got that going for me. Though the fact it's taking me so goddamn long to kill everything is obviously pretty much a problem. I have to take Boomerang tiers. I normally would have left them because that's going to make our range even shorter. But I have to take them by the rules. <laughs> the rules are going to kill me, okay? The rules are going to kill me. There's no other way to say it. The rules are going to get me killed. They're just... They're going to... They're going to destroy me. The rules are going to turn into a sharp sword and it's going to stab me. And there's nothing I can do about it. And I want there to be something that I can do about it. But there isn't. And, and I just want to have a little bit of a cry. I just want to have a little bit of a cry. These are very challenging challenge runs, though. I'm very happy I started doing this series. And... Uh, just some money. That's what can we expect. Nothing too great in here, though we do have to dodge multiple charging. And dodging multiple charging tends to be a little bit difficult. I thought I had Polaroid on. I thought I had Polaroid on, but I am Lazarus. Which I forgot about my... Word! Oh, okay, carry on. Carry on, son. Am I suddenly really... Why am I so fast? Why am I so fast? It's gonna get me killed. I don't like being this fast. It is terrifying. Kill it. Kill it with fire. Please. I don't want it to be... Oh, God, it's so fast. I can't... I'm so scared. I am so scared right now. All right, we did it. We did the room. We did the room. We did the room. Okay. Did the room. Guys, we did the room. Gonna head for the super secret, so at least, at least I've done that. Oh good, super secret wasn't even here. So now we're gonna die to a pair of super greeds. That's lovely. But yeah, our movement speed has suddenly shot through the roof. I mean, I know revive Lazarus is, yep, there it is. I mean, it was gonna happen. It was gonna happen. <laughs> Okay, well, I nearly got there. I got further than I had any right getting, so I'm pretty pleased with that. That is the first rebirth restrictions, and you guys are the winner. Let me know what you thought about what I said with the other one, and let me know any other ideas for cool restriction runs that you have thought of. For now, my name has been Rage. Just have a like for this awesomeness and my mental torture, and subscribe for more. Oh, goodbye.